my name is Ria Gaw. I'm a psychology student in my third year and I'm from Malaysia. Right now, we're on the Queen's campus. If you head down that way, that's where the Lanyon building is. Take a short walk up and that right there is the computer science building. And this here is the David Keir building and that's where psychology is based. Let me show you around. So here we are now at the psychology part of the David Keir building. This building is really, really big and we have more than psychology students just studying here. Up here we have our psychology labs and down there is the psychology school general office as well as the undergraduate common room. Here's the common room right here and there's the school general office. A lot of the lecturers have their, have their offices in here as well and they're very open. You can knock on their door and talk to them at any point if you need to. So this is kind of where the psychology part of the building ends and this is where the School of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering begins. It's also the best way to get to the DKB Hub if you want to grab a coffee or have a chat with your friends before lectures start. I'm heading there now to get some group work done with my tutorial group. I chose to come to Queen's because I was really lucky and I got a full scholarship. Queen's is one of the few universities in the UK that actually offers full international scholarships to international students. I also chose to come to Queen's because it's a great university, it's a Russell Group University. It's won awards for how research oriented it is and they've got, they've got the best students union in all of the UK as well. All right, so we've got a big group project to do and I'm gonna introduce you to all of my group mates. Say hi guys! Hi. Our group work is based around statistics and we've got a big group project coming up. <laughs> I feel like I came into Queen's really not knowing how to do statistics and then I learned and it was really great because like you got taught so many things that you just did, had no confidence with whatsoever. We didn't know each other at all before we were put in the same tutorial group and now we're great friends so it's also a great way to like build relationships and bond with each other. So I'm just leaving the DKB hub now and I'm off to another lecture. This is a module called Nudges and it's a really interesting psychological theory that I'm really enjoying learning. And actually this lecture hall is right next to the hub which is super convenient because we don't have to rush to any of our classes. I just finished my Nudges lecture. It was another really, really interesting lecture. Right now I'm gonna go sit at the DKB quad for a little while, just chill before I have to head on to my next appointment. This is the quad. Um, it's really, really nice on a sunny day. As you can see, it's not too sunny today, but yesterday we had a really great day. Um, during springtime, it's normally really pretty out here. I love to sit outside and just study or chat with my friends. I'm now in my third year, and this year for psychology, we were really lucky because we got to choose what modules we wanted to do. And I've chosen the psychology of intergroup relations. I've chosen nudges, and I've chosen to study gender. I've also chosen to do a placement module, which is really awesome because it gives me the experience of working in a work environment before actually having graduated and it looks great on my CV. I've also got a thesis and my thesis is on um, the conflict of Northern Ireland, which I find really interesting as an international student because it's giving me so many opportunities to learn more about the place that I've been living in for the past two years. The DKB is a really, really big building and even after being here for two years, I still get a little bit confused and lost sometimes, but you'll get used to it. So now I'm about to head up to my lab class. Normally we have lab classes about once a week during first and second year, and during third year it kind of dwindles down a little bit because you do most of your lab work with your thesis supervisor and your thesis group. So we're a little bit early now, but normally what we do in these computer labs, as you can see, we do lots of statistical practice. You have loads of stats and you might not have had that experience before, but what's great is that Queen's makes sure to support you every way that they can. You also actually conduct loads of experiments, which is also really, really cool. So that's my lab class finished now. I'm off to meet my personal tutor, who's also my thesis supervisor, for a really short meeting just about how things are going in third year. This is her room now. Let's go in and meet her. So here I am meeting my personal tutor. Hi, Gazelle. Hi, Leah. <laughs> so what we would do in a meeting like this is talk about how my thesis is going, any work that I've got to do. Whenever I have any issues or if I'm looking for career guidance or support, she's the person I would talk to. What I love about Queens is that all the supervisors and lecturers are always very open. They're very easy to get in contact with. Just shoot them an email and they're always willing to talk to you. Now, I'm going to take you towards the main campus and I'm going to show you the Student Guidance Centre, the library and the main Lanyon building as well.
Right, we're back where we started, and as I said, if you head down that way, that's the Lanyon building and main campus, so I'm going to show you that right now. This is the Student Guidance Center. You can come here to get advice on careers, employability, your CV. It's also where international students can come to get all the support that they need, and that's upstairs. There are always events being run here for students to come and increase their employability skills. There's also a well-being service that is provided, and it's an overall great place for students to come if they need any help about anything. So this is the upstairs of Student Guidance Center. Um, here is also where international student support is. It's a great resource for all international students to come for advice on visas and immigration and stuff like that. International Student Support also organizes a great welcome week service for all of their new students coming in every year. Now that we finished with the Student Guidance Center, I'm going to take you on a walk through the Botanic Gardens. What's great about the Botanic Gardens is that it connects many parts of Queens to each other. And last year when I was living in private accommodation, I was able to walk through the gardens to get to class every morning and it was the most beautiful walk you could ever imagine. So here we are at the Botanic Gardens. Um, uh, during a sunny day, it's like the most beautiful place to be. During summertime, which is when exams kind of fall, you'll see students with their work just hanging out and trying to study, but also trying to soak up some of the sun. So here we have the Palm House, which is what I like to call my little Malaysia room because it's warm in there and we have loads of plants from Malaysia in there. And right behind us, right there, that's the library. And what I love about Queens is how beautiful their, its surrounding area is. So this is the Maclay Library. It's a really, really beautiful library. There are loads and loads of books. The librarians are always around to help you out. And during exam time, the library is open 24 hours a day for students who are going to work so hard to do so well in their exams. Um, there are also loads of computers, there are laptops that you can rent, and there are also loads of events that go on through this semester. So here we are, basically in the middle of campus. This behind me here is the Peter Froggett Center. It's kind of the law building, but loads of other students have their lectures there. And behind me now is the main, camp is the main Lanyon building. Let's go check it out. So in, in the Peter Frogget Center, there's also a really nice cafe called Junction Cafe where you can get really great meal deals and a really nice warm hot chocolate on a cold day like this. There's also a moot court for the law students to practice in. This is the black and white hall, um, so named because of the tiles on the floor. Um, this actually used to be the exam hall for Queens when they still had very few students but now it just serves as the entryway for everybody coming through the university. There's also like a little gift shop here where you can buy Queen's branded products as well as other products from Northern Ireland. So here we have it. We're now at the front of the main campus building, the Lanyon building. Um, as you can see, it's having a little bit of a makeover because it is 150 years old. Um, and now you've seen what a day in the life of a psychology student is like. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm gonna head home now and take a nap. <laughs>